Hi my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my Louis Vuitton Clapton backpack. I was struggling with video ideas so I took to the community tab and asked what you all would like to see and you wanted to see another what's in my bag video so I decided to film this one today. I believe the last time I filmed this video was about a year ago. I don't think much has changed since then but we'll go ahead and dive into it anyway. I know a lot of you here aren't subscribed to my channel so if you guys could take just a quick second to give my channel a subscribe it means the absolute world to have your support and without any further ado let's jump into it okay here she is the Clapton backpack what a beauty I purchased this bag a little over a year ago and it's still one of my favorite backpacks to carry around so classy and elegant and I just love this backpack because it pairs so well with so many different outfits I get a lot of compliments on it and while it might look smaller on the website um, it actually fits a lot here is what she looks like up close so pretty I take such good care of this bag. Okay, so as I unbutton it, the first thing that I have in here are my Gucci Aviator sunglasses. I'm honestly shocked that I haven't lost them yet, knock on wood. These are the only pair of nice sunglasses I wear, and I think because they are so expensive, I keep a close eye on them. I do have a sunglass case, but it's in my car, but I probably wear these every day. I live in California, so having a good pair of sunglasses that match all your outfits is a must. Uh, it even matches the outfit that I'm wearing now. Up next, I have my Eve Saint Laurent uh, card slot. This actually came with the purchase of my Uptown wallet on a chain if you haven't seen that unboxing or video review I'll go ahead and link it in the description below but I was really happy with that purchase because it did come with a card slot and I don't like to carry a big wallet I'm just the type of person who doesn't like to carry a heavy bag I like to keep things lightweight and minimal so having this card slot is perfect I just have like my license credit card and really just the basics. I don't carry a lot of gift cards or anything unnecessary. I have to say I've put this wallet through a lot of wear and tear and I'm very happy that this logo has stayed on as it should considering it is supposed to be a luxury brand. So I'm keeping an eye on that little print right there. Okay, next up we have my vlogging camera. This definitely is the heaviest item in my backpack. I don't always bring my vlogging camera, but when I do, I always make sure to wear a bag that can hold it well. Uh, for example, a lot of my mini bags or my wallets on chains can't hold this one, whereas the Clapton backpack does. Sometimes I'll bring a tripod, but because the tripod just makes the backpack kind of heavy, I prefer to just bring the camera itself. I feel so bad for this camera. It's only like a year old and I've dropped it more times than I can count. And I think it's on its last leg, but it's doing me justice. This is the PowerShot G7X Mark II. If you're a beginner YouTuber and you just kind of want a vlog camera where you can see yourself, I highly recommend this camera. The one I'm filming on right now is the EOS M50. And I would actually prefer this one. Uh, if you're traveling, if you're a vlogger or a beginner YouTuber, I would recommend this camera. Okay, up next we have my AirPods, which um, always seem to be dead. They're dead right now, and I use them every day to go to the gym, and I always think they're charged or I forget to charge them, and then I get to the gym, realize they're dead, and I end up having to sit in my car like 10 minutes to wait for them to charge just enough to use them in the gym. But I always bring my AirPods with me. I also like to use them uh, if I'm going to the office and I have to take work calls and I don't want everyone around to hear me, um, so I'll just use my AirPods. Okay, what else is in here? We have this comb. I always have to carry like a mini brush or a comb with me. It seems high maintenance, but my hair gets so tangled and knotty all the time because it's so long. So I always have to make sure to carry this. This is a lifesaver. I feel incomplete if I leave the house without a comb or a brush. Okay, up next we have office card. Nothing exciting about that. Okay, this is a new, definitely need to go get another one. It is the Soul Perfume. I smelled this in store and I loved it so much, but I didn't want to commit to buying a full bottle, which I think was around like $80. I'm not too sure what the full price is. So I purchased just the small one, which I love because it's not a roll-on. If I see it, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It just, <laughs> it reminds me of Hawaii and summertime. 
I refuse to wear this during the fall and winter, otherwise it will make me very sad. But what I love about this one is it's just the spray. I do not purchase many perfumes that are roll-ons. I think it's just so inconvenient. When I launched my swimwear line, I would actually spray the tissue paper, like just one spray with this perfume because of how good it smelled. It just reminded me of summer and I was like, I, when people open my swimsuits, I want them to have just a small whiff of this. It just smells so good, trust me. Up next, we have some hand sanitizer that I always carry with me. And this one is actually running out, but I have like a tub of hand sanitizer in my medicine cabinet, so I'm never running out. Next, we have my Bluetooth clicker, this thing. This is my lifesaver. I use this all the time by myself to take pictures of my outfits, my YouTube thumbnails. You just connect it to your phone. I feel like everyone has to have one of these by now. They are so cheap. You can get them off of Amazon or they come with a lot of tripod purchases. But I use this all the time to take my own photos. Okay, up next we have the Vaseline Lip Therapy. I am so happy they changed their packaging on this. I mean, their last packaging was super cute. It was like the actual Vaseline tub but miniature version, but it was so hard to like scoop up the Vaseline to put on your lips, whereas this one is just a flat pan, so it makes it a lot easier. And this is really the only chapstick that works for me. I've tried Sun Balm, I've tried EOS, I've tried Burt's Bees, none of it works for me. The only thing that works when it comes to moisturizing my lips is Vaseline. Okay, these are the last items in here. This is like my favorite go to lip trio right now but i have the what is this nyx 132 almond rose lip liner the bare minerals abundance lipstick and then the buxom mudslide lip gloss i know that's kind of a handful i am actually wearing all three of these right now so i will line my lips put on some lipstick and then use this as kind of like a topper or a plumper. Lipstick does stay on a lot longer than lip gloss, so I like to make sure to put this one on first before this one. And then of course my iPhone 11 Pro. I did used to have the Max, but it was just way too big, so I definitely prefer having the normal regular size of the phone. So yeah, that is everything. As you can see, it is a very spacious backpack if you are looking to purchase this. If you want more details on this particular backpack or if you just want to see more up close shots or a review on the different ways you can wear it i'll link both of my video reviews in the description below i am going to end this video here thank you all so much for watching please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and until next time i will see you in another video soon bye